welcome to another vlogmas. I feel like I have been so busy lately, not even like, not everything I've been able to vlog or wanted to vlog, um, but I have been like back to back busy, which means I've like struggled to keep up with vlogging and stuff. But anyway, it's Monday morning. Last night um, we were out at Tim's mum and dad's with his family because they're going to America today, this morning. So we were doing a bit of like a pre-Christmas Christmas. Um, so we did that last night um, and then I've come back this morning, quickly got all my stuff together, um, ready to shoot with Freya. We're doing like six outfits today, so wish me luck. Um, we've got a tree there. We've got a big tree in the other room. We've got a tree there which hasn't got any lights on, so that's another job to do today get lights on that tree and find buy lights from that tree. So I'm wearing this jumper, this is my first look. I wore this last night actually. Um, so this jumper is from Miss Elfridge and the shirt is Stradivarius but quite old now. I kind of need a new one of these, like a long, it's longish but I'd like a new one. Saint Laurent bag, Zara leather leggings, my nasty girl boots. So this is look number one. I've got my PD Parlor earrings in and my cast experiences ring that I handmade. I'll show you the Christmas tree later because we actually put it up yesterday but I had so much on yesterday and so much to do. Um, I was editing a video, trying to upload two videos ready for today, tonight, yesterday and today. So yeah, I just... That could have been the postman. Um, so yeah, I didn't vlog putting the Christmas tree up because yesterday was all a bit much for me because we've been out the night before as well. Anyway, we've not, I've not vlogged the Christmas tree but I'll show you later when I'm back. This is the state of the car when I'm shooting. Arrived. She's just doing a little vlog clip. <laughs> we've not even said hello to each other yet but this is what we have to do each time. But on the final leg of shooting, yeah. absolutely freezing. I know, it's cold it today. is really cold today when you're like trying to shoot outside. <laughs> In fact, my nose looks really red. Um, but I think we're going to go and get something to eat now. You need Costa. those uh, tech gloves where you can touch your phone. I know. I don't. I like these. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So we're going to go and get something to eat. We both want soup. I think trying to be good. marginally healthy. Yeah, I had Indian so. last night, so I know, I what. had um, Christmas dinner. So. Did you? Already? Yeah. Oh. Well, it was um, Tim's mum and dad are going to America today, so oh, is it, it today? was like their family Christmas, yeah. Right. So we had like a bit of a Christmas day evening. Early. <laughs> Early Christmas Excuses. day evening. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, do you want more? Yeah, just okay. to smile a bit more. Okay. I look grumpy in those ones. Time for a bite to eat. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, it's the last time we're going to see each other before Christmas. Where's my Christmas present? Oh, yeah, where's mine? <laughs> <laughs> no, we said not to bother with anything. We're going to go out. We're, we're going to go out for your birthday. Like shopping spree, basically. Mm. Guilt free shopping. After Christmas. Yeah. So I've gone for the parsnip soup and muffin. muffin. What's in it? Mushroom and egg. Mushroom, egg and spinach. Mm. I was going to say McMuffin. Muffin. Muffin. McMuffin. No, that's McDonald's. Egg McMuffin. Egg McMuffin. Mm. So we're just leaving Preston now. Just had to nip to get some lights for... Um, to get some lights for the tree, which I showed you before, but I'm on my way back now. Just had some emails which I kind of need to reply to quite urgently. Um, so I'm going to do those as soon as I get back. So I've kind of rushed off a bit just so I can finish some work off when I get home. It's like two, so by the time I get home it'll be half past. So yeah, need to get that done. But I'm at the car now. So it's Tuesday morning, I'm not sure how much I'm actually going to vlog today because I've just got like an at home admin day. But I thought I'd show you the tree because yesterday I said I was going to show it you and I didn't. So it's quite a big tree, I don't really know if the camera's like showing how big it is really. But we've got all these kind of silvery, I think I got that one last year from m &S. Uh, We've got all these like silvery, oh excuse my nails, I need to do them tonight. Um, silvery baubles, 
and we've got like glass ones as well but we don't really we try not to put too many baubles on we don't go over the top with it so yeah that's one tree and then we've, we have to block one of the doors off to put it in the corner but yeah that's one tree and i'll show you the other now so this is the other one which is just got lights on this is the one i i will i got lights for yesterday um but it's just like a slim artificial one the other one's a real one but um yeah i think this one's really pretty as well just looks cute in here so i also thought that i'd do my big look fantastic advent calendar because i've not done it for days and i'm literally missing days i don't even know when the last one i opened was so i'm gonna show you that now i've just got my comfy clothes on today i've got these zara I don't, well you can't really see that but zara knit joggers on um which are really comfy these are the 15.99 ones but they do do um ones for like 25.99 but i mean why would you get those when these are like exactly the same They're so comfy as well and thick which is ideal right so i need to find out where i last took off right so that's the 11th i did i think i did the 12th have i done the 13th oh no it's exciting oh it's got some Okay. Right, so this is on the 13th. Yay! Oh, this is cute. Gradual tanning drops, face and body, perfect. I prefer gradual tanner in the winter um, and then I use more instant in the summer. This is by Balancem. Gradual tanning drops, natural skincare. It's a nice little, um, oh, that's gone out of focus. It's a nice little kind of like travel size bottle as well. If you're just going away for the weekend or something. Take your gradual tanning drops. So I don't know why I'm putting that back in there. So 14. Ooh. Lipstick queen. Oh, let's see what colour this is. Oh my goodness. It's green. Frog prince. You see that colour? That was intense. I'm not sure. Does that come out green? Oh, it comes out like a clear. I don't really understand that, but I'm sure I'll work it out. I might Google it. It's like, um, you can't really see it, but it's like a translucent -y shade. Number 15. Ooh. Okay, this looks interesting. Oh, eyeshadow, sleek makeup, eye divine, mineral based eyeshadow palette. And there's some amazing colours as well. Just up my street. I love those kind of shades. And it's also a really nice size. Because I um, flip between my house and Tim's house. Obviously, I have to take my makeup with me. Um, and it's like when you've got a great big eyeshadow palette, it's really hard to take around. So this size looks really perfect just for like fitting in your makeup bag oh yeah they're perfect shades like all nudes nice browns i always wear brown and a little brush that goes with it as well i always wear like a brown in the crease and then a light shade so there's some really good colors to work with there so that was the 16th so we're on is it the 18th today 17 where's 17 it's a bottle cordially serum is it anti-aging serum radiant serum complexion correction oh that's a rhyming one isn't it complexion correction oh it smells good kind of like a primer but it's not a primer but put it on um before moisturizer okay that's interesting so let's do the 18th i'm pretty sure it's the 18th today Oh, another bottle. So it's Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration for Dry Parched Skin. Oh, that's nice. Especially in winter. Ah! That green frog lipstick has turned colour to like a pinky shade. Oh, that's so cool. And it's like quite moisturising as well. Oh, that's what, that's interesting. I thought it wasn't like a green. Oh, that's nice. So that is the advent calendar of the day. Um, I might try and vlog a bit today, 
but I'm gonna vlog tomorrow I think going out for breakfast with my friends so I'll just vlog a bit then but um yeah I might pick up the camera I might not depending on what's what the day is now and I've had a Lovies delivery so I thought I'd do a little try on haul and show you what I got um so the first piece everything is a medium by the way everything that I've got I've got like five six items so this first thing is a cream like sweatshirt it's kind of like better material than a sweatshirt Lovies material is really good by the way online you can't really tell like what the material is like but in real life, everything I've had is really good. Even the t-shirts are really nice quality and they wash really well. And this feels exactly like that. So it's got balloon sleeves, um, quite a high neck here. And then it comes down, you can see, like that. I just think these are really handy layering piece to have. And I know this colour uh, marks, but I can tell that this is going to wash really well. So that's good. I'll just mention that my necklaces, this one is from um, the Selfridges event that we went to and we got our um things inscribed our necklace is inscribed um so you can get that done in selfridges there's one in manchester that does it and uh, well manchester exchange and then there's one in trafford center and then this is my by Beale necklace and the rings i've just got on um this one's from zara and then this one how bad are my nails then this one is Thomas Sabo the other one. So that brings us on to the trousers. So these trousers are snake skin, kind of um, like a brownie, green, almost greeny beige snake skin, which I really like. I've worn my other like jean type snake skin trousers to death. They were from Zara. Um, and these are just more of a kind of formal pants version so these would be nice like dressed up with at christmas with a blazer over the top i'm also looking for some new black furry mule loafers kind of like the gucci ones but maybe not gucci prices just turn the ring light down a bit because it's a bit oh that's the lowest it can go it's a bit blue let's try it without oh, i think that's better actually so um yeah i really like these pants oh yeah i'm looking for some um fairy mule loafers which i think would look quite cool with this kind of thing so yeah this is the first look so then i've got this big teddy coat i know i've got a few of these already but i couldn't resist this one so it's a size medium i just thought the way the collar fell and what it looked like was really expensive looking kind of like the max mara one um and i love the shade of brown as well it's like not quite as orangey as the other one i've got and it's so cozy and warm and then all of this has got the lining underneath as well so but yeah i mean teddy coats come in handy all the time so i'm sure i'll get my wear out of this and my mum's been wearing my other teddy coat quite a lot so she's kind of got that one so i've got this one now <laughs> so next i've got these two pieces on so basically this is the gray version of the cream one so i forgot to mention how warm it was it's when i took the cream one off i felt so cold but they're really like thick luscious material so yeah definitely recommend these and I, I just love everything about them they're just i think they're just a really like you know when you want a plain knit but it not to be boring i think this kind of ticks the boxes with the sleeves and the neckline it's just like a really modern um cut and fit and feels expensive and then i've got this skirt on which is so soft um i'm not sure if they're quite the right colors of gray together but um yeah it's just a midi skirt really comfy i'd probably wear it with tights and wear it with long boots or wear it in the evening with like heeled boots um to make it a bit more dressy but i think i mean you can't go wrong with snake skin basically i've just repeated the the last outfit in a slightly different way but um i think both pieces are really wearable i love midi skirts i've got a lot of them in my wardrobe and i wear them a lot so i think this will come in really handy it is so soft as well like just feeling it, it's incredibly soft. Let's go back a bit so you can see it all. So this is what it looks like all together. And then I just put my nasty girl boots on with it because as everybody knows, I live in my nasty girl boots. 
So last, but definitely not least, is this amazing sparkly dress. And it's actually sparkly more in real life than it even is on camera. But it's it's sparkly, like this sparkle weaved all the way through it. It's like a blazer dress with a big belt here. And then I've just put it on with these nasty girl nude heels. Um, and then these earrings from H&M from last year. But um, I love this, like it's got a bit of shoulder pads here. It's exactly what I was looking for for New Year's Eve. Something that's kind of covered on top but quite short. I kind of was thinking a blazer dress because there's not many occasions where I get to wear a dress. So I thought, you know what, let's go for it. Yeah, I just think it looks really good. Love the silver colour. Um, yeah, it's in, this is size medium as well, I think. So always maybe go for a slightly size higher in lovies, I'd say. Um, but yeah, absolutely love this. So I think I'm going to edit some of this video now um, because tomorrow I'll be busy and I want to kind of finish by tomorrow afternoon. I'm going to edit some of the video now and then tomorrow I'll take you along to brunch with me. I'm going out with my friend, so we'll go then. Um, but for now... I think that's it for today and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. It is Wednesday and I'm just about to go for brunch with my best friend. I've been to the gym this morning. It's about 10 now. Um, I've been to the gym, just got ready, sorted a few things out because I'm going to film a kind of festive outfit styling video. Um, not festive outfits. Well, yeah, festive outfits, but not like out, out, evening, New Year's Eve outfits. They're going to be more like things you can wear in the daytime or to like evening events that aren't necessarily like party events. So yeah, I'm gonna film that later. So just prepping for that and now ready to go out. So I'll just show you what I'm wearing in this mirror because it's a bit brighter here. But I've got this, these ASOS jeans on, which I've been living in. Nasty Girl boots, obviously. I've got some more Nasty Girl boots um, on their way today actually. So hopefully you won't just see me in these ones. Um, and then I've got this Lovies jumper on, which is the one I tried on yesterday. Who's this necklace by? Me Mondea. This is from PD Paula. Rings are, let me focus. Abbott Lion watch on. Uh, Thomas Sabo is this ring. This ring is um, Annie Hay. And then this final one, I can't remember. So, um, yeah, just about to go out for... Br oh, this coat also is the Lovies one that I tried on yesterday. So just about to go out for brunch with my best friend. She's um, in Edinburgh at uni, um, studying to be a vet. So she's back now, which is really good, because um, we only get to see each other really, like, in summer and half times holidays, things like that. So um, I'm going to go for brunch to kickstart Christmas. And we're just going to like a little local place near me, which is like really cute little cafe. Um, they've just done it up as well recently, so it's really nice in there. I am starving, like starving. I've not eaten anything today and I've been to the gym, so definitely ready for some breakfast. show you these pieces from Annie Hay which I've literally just got um the delivery man was kind of at the door as I got back so I've got some gorgeous pieces by the way this is a new champagne holder from oh hang on sorry that was our house phone so this is a new champagne holder that my mum got from um home sense and then this bottle Tim's mum got me for Christmas but it looks perfect in here it goes with the little gold bits there and we've got our little tree here which was just from like a local shop Anyway, Annie Hay. So they sent me in a little package, which is such nice wrapping paper as well. And I've got one of her rings on today. I say her, I mean it's brand, isn't it? Their rings on. Oh, there's two things here. So I picked some things out ages ago before I did my um, giveaway collab with them. And I think these are those things. So we've got, I mean, it's probably better if I sit down. So let's have a look at the first piece. 
Oh, a ring. Oh, I love rings so much, obviously, as you can tell. But, I mean, rings like fade, don't they? The gold fades on them, so it's always nice to have updated ones. This is a gorgeous twist ring. You can see that there. It's like a little twist in the gold. That's gorgeous. Um, and then we've got another box here. So this is, oh, they're so pretty. Earrings, which is just like a drop tea. I'm obsessed with those. Silver sterling as well with gold. They're gorgeous. I love things like that that are just really simple, but um, like that kind of look a bit unusual as well. It's like things that you can wear as everyday pieces, but I'm not just boring plain gold earrings. And then we've got final package, package. And a really nice brunch, by the way. I had a bagel and it had poached egg, bacon, tomato and avocado on it. It was delish. Annie, hey. Aw, oh, little message. Dear Lydia, just a gift from us all that Annie hey to say Merry Christmas and thank you for your continued support since our launch in January this year. You always make our jewellery look so amazing. How sweet. And so fitting that I've literally just posted um, about their ring this morning. And then they've sent me these. Oh, that's so, oh, that's gorgeous. Chain links bracelet, that's so nice. That's so pretty. I love just like layering little dainty bracelets like that. So that's gorgeous. Thank you so much, Annie. Hey, that's really lovely. I'm going to um, shoot these for Insta now. Do a little story on them. But yeah, okay. So I think I'm going to sign the vlog off here. I think there's going to be one more Vlogmas. I'm a bit worried because I'm going to Bridgewater Hall tomorrow night. Um to watch a Christmas Spectacular concert and I'm not sure I'm allowed to take my camera. So if I'm not, then I don't know what I'm gonna do because I was gonna film all that. We're going out for a meal beforehand. So I don't know. But um, I'll probably do one more vlog before Christmas anyway. So thank you for watching this Vlogmas and hopefully see you in the next one. I'm gonna film that video today so that should be up soon. Uh, yeah, so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.